Proponents say a casino for Kapolei would have raised millions for the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. Yeah, that's right. The idea was nixed by the legislature this year despite that. Casey Lun is live this morning with more on that. Casey. Okay. Good morning, guys. And I want to get right to the deputy chair of the Department of Hawaiian Homelands, Tyler Iokepa Gomes, with me this morning. Tyler, I want to talk a little bit about um, that measure that did die in a Senate committee. Um, can you give people some context as to why a casino really would have um, put DHHL and the beneficiaries that are looking to build homes um, on good footing? Sure. Thanks for having us this morning, Casey. Uh, you know, the department's 100 years old, um, and what the department represents is a promise both by the federal government and the state to fulfill the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act. We've known as early as the 1930s that the majority of the lands we have are not suitable for development. Uh, we've known since the 70s that the funding levels have been completely insufficient. And so what you see is these massive spikes in demand from our beneficiaries. We've got 28,000 families waiting for homes. Um, and you see these very uh, restrictive and steadily restrictive funding levels. And so an idea like a casino was one way to sort of figure out how do we ramp up revenue production so that we can meet the needs. I mean, we're not always gonna have prime opportunities like this behind us where we can exchange lands to increase our holdings. Uh, the casino would have made it possible to get more land. And uh, we're gonna be talking about this 80 acre parcel uh, throughout the morning and getting input from beneficiaries. But I do wanna ask, um, it just, the arguments that were, were primarily against having gaming, a, a casino here, um, the, the issues with uh, safety, the, the neighborhood concerns, um, did you think those were addressed? You know, one of the things we tried to focus on was the science. And we know that there's decades now of uh, scientists in the field who study the impacts of gaming. And I think one of the most positive messages that we've learned is that casinos actually shine a light on those potential social impacts. They don't cause or create them. Scientists genuinely agree that there is no causal link between casinos and crime or addiction. And once you shine the light on it, you have real opportunities to address those harms. And so communities that have been very successful with their casino operations, that's large and in part because they've dedicated resources to addressing them. And then the uh, the impact that you see is, you know, being able to mitigate all of those potential and perceived harms. Very good. Tyler, you kept Gomez, Gomez with us this morning. I want to appreciate or uh, thank you for your time. We are going to, again, get back to talking about the 80 acres of land here, the old Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. Briefly, before we go, just want to send you to hawaiinewsnow.com. DHHL is actively seeking out input from beneficiaries. The deadline to do that is March 18th. More on that later.